All right. I want to do a quick top five mid-year favorite hip-hop albums for you guys, all right? Just to let you guys know where I'm at. And I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm not anywhere near you guys, all right? I know a lot of you have listened to every single fucking album that's come out this year. And I've listened to about, like, ten albums, all right? I'm way behind, but this is just what... I have enjoyed the most so far this year, and I'm sure there's a lot more to come. So, the things uh, or the albums that I still have to listen to that are on my list are the new Underachievers album. Uh, last time I checked, it wasn't even on title. Yes, I have title. You can suck a dick. Um, the new Odyssey album, The Iceberg, I still gotta listen to that. Uh, I really actually want to listen to that, but. I just can't ever find a time to listen to them, you know what I mean? Like, I have a lot of time, but I just never come to think about it. But I do plan on listening to those before the year is over, though, all right? My honorable mention, More Life by Drake. I like that album. I think it's uh, better than his last album, Views. So I actually really enjoy it. I find myself going back to a few, you know, a handful of songs here and there. You Only Live Twice. I think that was a really good comeback uh, project from Freddie Gibbs, although it wasn't really an album, I guess. if Maybe it was in length. I, I don't think it was, though, in length. It was very short, but it was definitely an honorable mention for me. Um, and Boomiverse, I still got to listen to it more, but off the bat, I really think like Big Boy did his thing on this, and he deserves honorable mention because there are a lot of great songs on there. Um, so here we go, top five, all right? I see, I, this is going to be a really quick video. I haven't listened to shit in the hip-hop world this year, all right? So just bear with me, all right? Number five, Smino, Black Swan. Uh, I reviewed this a little bit ago. When it came out, it was really on repeat heavy. I haven't really gone back to it yet in a while, actually, but um, it's definitely different than anything else I've heard this year. So I'm really happy with it, and I really am still enjoying it, you know? There's a lot of standout songs on there, and it's really just a great, feel-good album, you know? Uh, number four, Joey Badass, All-American Badass. I think it was one of his better projects in uh, recent memory. Um, I love that he went a new direction with it, and it was a really big risk that he took. And uh, there's still, you know, some standout songs from, like, you know, that you could take from, like, his past or the beginning of his career, but... Overall, I think he went in a new direction, and I really respect that. Number three, Kendrick Lamar, damn. Um, I expected this to be number one when this shit came out, but uh, the thing is that, you know, I don't find myself going back to this album a lot, like the regular Kendrick, but I still absolutely love this album. You know, I still, I listened to it the other day, and I was like, oh yeah, this is why I fucking love the album. And I'm, you know, it, there's definitely a mood that you have to be in, though, I feel like. There's a mood that you have to be in to go into this album. It's not like Good Kid, Mad City or, well, To, to Pimp a Butterfly, you, you, you would think that you would have to be in a mood. But there are a lot of just standout tracks from those albums that you can just go to. But this one, I feel like the overall feel is just way different than anything that he's put out previous. So, I don't know. I've also just been really interested in... Uh, finding new music this year rather than just going back to this album so i don't know i i but it still is a really really good album and one of my favorites of this year so far number two i gotta go with 444 uh, i know this shit just came out but uh i mean it's a solid fucking album man i'm very impressed with jay-z and his delivery overall on this thing no id fucking killed it but um Jay-Z really came through and surprised me, and uh, it's a solid fucking album from front to back. It is a solid, solid album. Super impressed with it. Love it. And my number one, this just came out as well, but fuck it. Vince Staples' Big Fish. This thing is from top to bottom, minus the last track. Minus the last track. From top to bottom, minus the last track. This thing is fucking incredible. Absolutely love the direction that Vince went with this absolutely love like i don't i just can't even explain it it's so different than anything else that's really coming out like he really took a really big risk with this but knew the direction that he was taking it though you know what i mean like he had this drive that he was taking it in that worked and um maybe not a lot of people see that maybe some do but i fucking love it um can't wait to see vince again and uh that's my top five right there that's my top five mid-year uh, I know I told you guys this previous videos, but you can recommend me anything, man. You can recommend me anything. 
chances are I'll read your comment, forget that you even commented, and then never listen to it, but uh, I'm trying to do better, all right? I'm trying to do better for you guys. I'm trying here. I'm trying. That's my top five this uh, mid-year so far. Um, I feel like a lot is about to come out, though. I feel like we have a lot to look forward to. And uh, let me know your top five. Let me know your thoughts. You know what I mean? The regular. Uh, That's it. All right. I guess I'll see you guys. uh, There's an album that's coming out, but I can't think of what it is right now. Oh, uh, Tyler. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man. I'm going to make a video for that. That's going to be a good one. All right. That's all. Peace.